And now to a big scandal developing tonight involving a county commissioner accused of running a house of prostitution. Deputies arrested Hernando County Commissioner Nicholas Nicholson this afternoon. They say he also paid a woman for sex. Tonight, she is telling her story to Fox 13's Evan Axelbank, who's live in Brooksville. Um, tell us more about what she told you, Evan. Well, uh, Kelly, she told us that if she didn't have sex with him, he would cut her off uh, from money and he would also throw her out of her home. Tonight, we have learned that she has won a restraining order against that commissioner on the same day he was arrested. After bonding out of jail, Commissioner Nicholas Nicholson didn't answer our questions, but the woman who deputies say he paid for sex did. I just want to say that I'm so happy that this sexual abuse is finally over. The 30-year-old says she met the 71-year-old Nicholson a year ago while working as a stripper in Pasco County. She says he offered her money to have sex, which eventually turned into a home for her and her husband as she suffered a relapse of drug addiction. You, your husband, your dog are going to have nowhere to live. I'll kick you out if you don't do exactly what I say. She showed us a restraining order a judge granted today in which she wrote, if I told him he was hurting me, he would hurt me more. Deputies can't confirm physical abuse took place, but her husband told them starting six months ago, Commissioner Nicholson paid her $300 a week to have sex on Tuesdays and Saturdays. They say other clients of hers would come to the house for sex. On one occasion, Nicholson greeted deputies under the influence with his privates exposed. Being the chief law enforcement officer in the county, it's important, uh, I believe, that all elected officials should be held to a higher standard. The boyfriend said Nicholson had been paying her after sex and... Fox 13 reported in 2015 that Nicholson was accused of something similar in 2012 with another woman who accused him of driving her to drug dealers. At the time, he denied a Hernando County Republican Party request to resign. Instead, in 2016, he was re-elected to his seat by a 52 to 40 percent margin. The reason I cooperated with the investigation was because I never want to see this happen to a younger young girl again. He's 41 years older than me. County Republican leaders told me that they have a meeting. They had a meeting tonight to decide on what to do uh, about Commissioner Nicholson. It is unclear as to yet as to what that meeting uh, came up with, whether they will ask him uh, to resign again. They do say they're very concerned about this. Only the governor himself can remove a public elected official from office. The governor's office tells me, Kelly, that they are watching this very closely. You know they are, you certainly are. All right, Evan Axelbank reporting for us. Thank you so much, Evan.